we have heard the name of sage valmiki we also know that ramayan the first epic of indians in sanskrit language is written by him he described the life of shri ram in this epic but since the epic was in sanskrit language common people could not understand it that is why sanskrit ramayan was translated in indian languages many poets wrote ram katha in their own poetic styles the ram katha told by saint tulsidas is known by the name tulsi ramayan tulsidas named it ram charit manas shri tulsidas was called goswami means one who controls his senses one who leads an ascetic life after conquering the worldly temptations tulsidas was born at the end of the 15th century and lived up to the beginning of the 17th century many opinions prevail as to the time and place of his birth atmayan dube and tulsi bai was a couple who stayed in rajapur in uttar pradesh they were devotees of hanuman after many years of devotion and prayers a son was born to them it is said that the child did not cry immediately after birth but started saying ram ram that is why he was called ram bola he lost his mother in his early childhood his father abandoned him his grandmother looked after him for some years but after her death the villagers became his guardians he grew up on the prasad of hanuman temple he used to say temple is my home and god my parents narhari das was a very famous intelligent scholar and kirtankar he stayed in the hanuman temple of rajapur and delivered many sermons on ramayana tulsi liked those sermons very much he used to listen to them with devotion tulsi was well built had good physique broad forehead content eyes and a radiant face narhari das asked him would you be my disciple tulsi was very pleased and overjoyed he touched the feet of narhari das and instantly agreed tulsi learned ved upanishads darshans mythology sanskrit and prakrit language from his guru they traveled for 14 years studying teaching and singing bhajans at night he not only delivered sermons on ramayan but he used to compose poems once narhari was certain that tulsi's education was complete he got him married to a beautiful well mannered ratnavali the daughter of dinabandhu pathak once ratnavali had gone to her parents house tulsidas missed her very much and went to meet her at night it was raining he got fully drenched there was a river on the way it was flooded at he swam and went to ratnavali's house as he reached there at night he did not knock the door but caught a rope hanging outside the house and entered the house through a window ratnavali was shocked to see him she asked how did you enter the house he said with the help of a rope hanging outside the house but where was the rope it was a snake hanging from a branch ratnavali did not like the efforts he took just to meet her she said my body is full of bones and skin why do you love me so much if you love ram so much you would be able to free yourself of the fear of the worldly life and birth and death tulsi had learned his lesson he said henceforth i will never forget prabhu ram prabhu ram is my world and from that day he became tulsi das though he was a scholar in sanskrit language he had written two books named janaki mangal and parvati mangal in ayodhya in his solitary life he wrote ram charit manas very effectively he depicted how ram personified as ideal man through his behavior in this granth he depicted ram as an ideal king and leader and sita as an ideal woman he even depicted the characters of lakshman bharat hanuman vibhishan jatayu guha sugriv as ideal brothers ideal servant ideal devotee etc he made all these characters immortal when people were dejected despondent groping in the darkness of subjection ramcharitmanas showed them the light of culture 
it expressed and spread the beautiful ideals of truth and sacredness he published his compositions in kashi people of kashi acknowledged his talent and they honored him they considered him to be an incarnation of valmiki thousands of people understood the importance of devotion and they became devotees of shri ram some wicked people tried to tarnish the image of ram charit manas but failed and on the contrary it received more glory children there is an expression which is true to the core guni gunam vetti na nirguna only a virtuous person can evaluate a virtuous person tulsidas visited all places of pilgrimage he lived in kashi during the last days of his life in the year 1623 he took samadhi on the bank of the river asi in kashi kshetra moral of the story everyone does have a part of god in oneself so we should always appreciate the virtues of others and secondly we should always help others